Walking along the trail at Wilson Park. This is a great place to see beaked hazelnut. Beaked hazelnut is a shrub, multi-stemmed, it can spread by suckers. Um, so there's a big cluster of it here. So fairly typical to find it in a cluster like this. Um, fairly nondescript bark is brown. It's got some lichen growing on it, giving it some more coloration. It does tend to get these kind of groove textured appearance to it on some of the younger stems. And then as it gets older, turning more gray. The shrub is easy to misidentify as paper birch or potentially alder. Big difference if you're looking at the leaves in baked hazelnut, it has this heart-shaped base to the leaf. So an indentation where the petiole attaches to the leaf. Alder and paper birch do not have that heart-shaped base. And then another difference to distinguish the beaked hazelnut is the sawtooth margins or edge. Can't get my phone to focus where I want it to. So sawtooth margin where alder and paper birch have um, double tooth serrations. It comes to a sharp point at the end of the leaf and they're quite fuzzy and papery. There's actually a lot of hairs It'll be hard to capture in a video, um, but a lot of hairs on the leaves, bud scales, and new twigs. And then a really cool characteristic beaked hazelnut. It does have hazelnuts. So this shrub here has quite a few of them growing on it. So beaked referring to, so the nut is developing in this fuzzy bulb here and then it has this hairy covering over it, forming almost like a duck beak shape off the end of that hazelnut. So there's a couple of them developing there. You'll often find them developing in pairs like this one here. Once those are ripe, they'll disappear quite quickly um, between the squirrels harvesting them and humans coming down here to collect them to roast and eat so they are edible hazelnuts.